Thank you to everyone that has participated in our hashtag wear a tie 2020 challenge. It was great to see so many of you donning beautiful ties again, and we had over 400 entries. Now, this is our first monthly update of our campaign, uh, and the idea is that in this video, I'm going to review with you some of the great photographs that everyone has submitted, and at the end of this video, we're going to draw for our first month's winner. Reminder, post a photograph of yourself wearing a tie on social media with the hashtag wear a tie and tagging me at Kirby Allison to enter for a chance to win a sovereign grade necktie. We're going to be running this drawing every month for the next several months. So let's get started and take a look at some of these great entries. We had so many, it was difficult to choose the ones that we're going to feature in today's video, but hopefully you'll enjoy seeing these well-dressed gentlemen. First up, we have a photograph from Gentleman's Ties. Now, this is a great photograph standing in front of the Capitol where I was uh, just this last December with my son, Nathaniel. Uh, and this is a great example of uh, wearing a tie as part of a business casual ensemble. Uh, you can see he's wearing it with a pair of cotton chinos, um, great casual trouser, but with a nice odd jacket and a tie to dress it up a little bit. It's not so formal that it would be intimidating uh, or would look out of place in kind of a transitionary environment uh, where you have people dressing in business formal and some people in casual. And also if you're a more junior employee, um, you know, and don't want to you really set the wrong tone, again, this is a great way to look smart and to wear a tie. So great outfit here. Thank you for submitting it as a part of our contest. Up next, we've got John from Chicago, Illinois. Uh, it's hard to pull off bow ties, uh, but John is really doing a fantastic job at this. Uh, we're not discriminating against bow ties in our hashtag wear a tie challenge. Uh, any opportunity to dress up is something that we will support, encourage, and embrace. John is pictured here wearing a navy blazer, a white shirt with a blue stripe, it looks like a check. So it's hard to tell exactly the colors here in this bow tie, but it looks to be uh, kind of a greenish blue. Uh, and again, it uh, really looks great. What I like about this bow tie is it's not too big, it's not too extravagant, it's still really quite conservative. Uh, and so I think he pulls it off beautifully. Now we've got some other entries from John. Uh, this is another photograph of him wearing a proper tie. Uh, again, it looks to be the same navy jacket, white shirt, uh, and a beautiful tie. It looks to be uh, a jacquard woven tie. It's sometimes hard to tell from these photographs. Good color matching with the pocket square, again, pulling in some of those browns. Uh, and anyway, great photograph. Another note about John is that he actually submitted uh, three entries for each of these photographs because he posted on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. So another way to increase your odds of winning uh, is actually to post on uh, each of those three different social media platforms. We've got another gentleman here from Romania, Stefan. He was probably one of our most prolific posters, uh, posting, I don't know, I think over 20 or 30 times uh, and really showcasing uh, his command of color and accessories uh, really flawlessly. All his outfits I really enjoyed. And so we've got a few of his different photographs here. Uh, the first one uh, is a, a beautiful uh, rep tie. Now these are traditional regimental ties uh, that the various uh, regiments in England would each have. Uh, kind of their own colorways uh, representing their regiment. Uh, this one looks to be woven, uh, perhaps a woven wool regiment tie. What I like about woven ties is they're perfect for fall and winter. And one of the things that I love about the colder months is really the opportunity to work in different textures in the actual weave of your tie that you might not wear all year round. He's pairing it with a beautiful uh, green cable knit. Again, works perfectly. And you can see in some of these other photographs that he posted as a part of this post uh, that he's not wearing it with a formal jacket. Uh, he's simply wearing it with an overcoat. And I think, again, this is a great example of how you can use ties casually. You don't always have to wear them in a suit and tie, uh, much like you see me most days. Now you can wear a tie and really look elegant uh, casually also. We've got several photographs from Stefan. I just kind of want to go through these because there's such great variation of how you can really leverage a tie. Uh, here's a photograph, slightly more formal. He's wearing it with a brown jacket and a silk tie. So this is probably a printed silk tie, a slightly higher sheen to it. Again, it increases the formality. And I love the way that he's using the pocket square to kind of bring out some of the browns in the jacket. And this pocket square really does a great job accentuating the colors in his uh, outfit here. It looks to be some small, subtle hints of green that coordinate with the tie, but the primary color palette of this pocket square is brown, which coordinates to the color of the jacket. 
Uh, so great use. And again, uh, the white uh, shirt, I'm a huge fan of white shirts. And here where you've got a lot of different things going on, the white shirt is a great opportunity to really just have a clean, crisp balance to everything else going on. Uh, more photographs, this is another jacket. Uh, again, a nice kind of odd winter jacket, tons of texture, beautiful browns, and with a woven a houndstooth a tie. Again, uh, absolutely beautiful outfit. Uh, and then here we go, you can see uh, all these other outfits. We've got some bow ties, uh, we've got some hats, we've got a ton of sweaters, um, and really, Stefan, a great work here. And thank you for entering our hashtag wear a tie challenge. Up next, we're back here in the United States uh, in South Carolina. Uh, this is a picture from Joel. Uh, and this is, it uh, looks to be a great example of how one should show up to dinner at home. Uh, I'm a huge proponent of even dressing up at home when entertaining, especially for special occasions. Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day, Christmas Eve, uh, Christmas Day, a birthday. Uh, why show up to the dinner table after spending all that time cooking a beautiful meal uh, in shorts or jeans and a t-shirt? Uh, I think it really is just below the occasion. Uh, here you see a Joel dressing up in an odd jacket, a tie, white shirt, and a beautiful pair of odd trousers. Uh, and it's a great example of how we should all strive to be entertaining at home. This gentleman clearly has a beautiful dining room and showing up to dinner in a jacket and a tie is just such a great sign of respect that really is consistent with the entire ambiance of what's uh, trying to be created there. Now, this is a slightly less formal look than a full suit and tie, but still very appropriate and elegant for evening wear, especially in a place like South Carolina, uh, where in the South, sometimes it's slightly more casual than what you might find in New York. Uh, I love the burgundy jacket, and he's wearing, if you look closely, our Hangar Project 10-year anniversary tie. So Joel, hey, thank you so much for posting this, and thank you for entering our hashtag wear a tie challenge. Next, we have a photograph of Donovan uh, from Cambridge, Massachusetts. Uh, Donovan's profile says that he's an amateur patina artist and shoe shiner, and by the looks of his outfit, he seems very well qualified. So if you're in the Cambridge, Massachusetts area, I'd say definitely look up Donovan on Instagram uh, if you need any help shining your shoes. Uh, but here again, slightly more uh, casual outfit. Uh, this is a younger outfit you can see, especially with this burgundy shirt. Um, and it really pairs perfectly with the olive. Uh, they look like jeans from this photograph, beautiful brown belt, and nice kind of gray odd jacket. So a great, uh, great outfit there. And thank you so much for posting. And I absolutely love to see younger men embracing the necktie, wearing it, uh, and really dressing up in jackets. Uh, we all look so much better when we're wearing a jacket and a tie. Uh, and you know, if you're a little bit younger, you know, make it your own, personalize it, uh, but wear your tie. Next, we remain in Massachusetts, but we head over to Medford, Massachusetts, uh, and he entered uh, three different ways, again, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, and this is a great example of a nice high-waisted pair of trousers and suspenders. Again, this is a look that's near and dear to my heart. You can see uh, I'm wearing uh, braces uh, right now. Uh, and it's just a great look. I mean, this is a, looks to be a, a woven jacquard, a kind of rep tie, nice bold, uh, either red or burgundy and silver stripe. And striped ties, I mean, are so easy to wear. I mean, it's almost as universal as the grenadine uh, or a nice kind of solid uh, navy twill like what I have right here. This is actually a horizontal twill. It's a 50 ounce horizontal twill, sovereign grade tie. And uh, you can tell that again, the trousers are quite high waisted, which is why he's wearing uh, those braces. So absolutely great outfit. Up next, we've got another good friend of mine. Uh, this is Mitch over at Bespoke. If you're someone that enjoys barbecuing, uh, Mitch, without question, is the profile to follow. Uh, whenever I created uh, my uh, Beef Wellington, he actually was very uh, helpful and kind of uh, really carrying me all the way through that process. I was on the phone several times that day having him help me uh, put that together. And here we've got several outfits uh, with Mitch here. And I think that this is a great example. I think if you look closely enough, there's only about two or three different jackets here. But look how many different outfits Mitch was able to create just changing out the ties and pocket squares. I mean, this is the beautiful thing about a tie is that you know you can almost wear the same thing every day, especially if it's a solid suit or jacket, and just change out the tie and pocket square, and no one will ever think twice that you're actually wearing the same jacket. And so a lot of great looks, a lot of great use of bold pocket squares uh, and beautiful ties. 
And I think we actually just sent Mitch a tie rack uh, for all these ties uh, as he's starting to kind of dress up more formally and uh, now that we're kind of exiting out of all these lockdowns. So uh, Mitch, hey, thank you so much uh, for entering this contest and uh, keep up the great work on your Instagram profile, Bespoke, and helping the well-dressed really embrace proper barbecue. Next, we head over to Germany. This is a uh, Wuppertal. Again, probably pronouncing that incorrectly, uh, but this is another great kind of casual look here. Uh, here, this gentleman, Mr. Otto, is wearing a pair of odd trousers. They look to be uh, either a uh, kind of a corduroy or maybe even a cotton chino. Uh, it's a beautiful kind of either cream or light yellow. He's pairing it with a, a quilted jacket, and under that jacket, he's got his shirt and tie, looking very smart. Looks quite cold out there in Germany. Uh, and a rough translation of his text is that uh, hopefully I'll be able to eat ice cream here again in a few months instead of slipping on it. And having just gone through an ice storm, I know exactly what you're thinking. Uh, so anyway, I hope things are warming up there uh, in Germany. And thank you so much for entering the contest. Great photograph. Next, again, we continue our travel around the world. Uh, next stop is at Puebla, Mexico. Uh, this is from Gurkut, uh, and this is, uh, again, multiple entries, uh, but this is the most recent one, uh, which is a very kind of smart, uh, dressed up look. I believe this gentleman is a lawyer, uh, very sharp, polished uh, suit. Uh, this has a, certainly a slightly more narrow lapels, a high notch stance, Great use of a white pocket square. Again, if you're someone that doesn't wear pocket squares very often, uh, just go for a simple white pocket square. It's the easiest way to start out. Uh, and a beautiful uh, kind of pink and silver striped tie. A great outfit. Uh, thank you so much for posting this. Uh, and it's so great to see so many men all over the world uh, dressing up in a proper suit and tie. We continue our trip down south. This time we're stopping in Ecuador. This is Alas, and he is actually a teacher, another uh, person with multiple entries, I think 16 total. Uh, and uh, this is another a great look. And again, I love seeing school teachers uh, dress up in a suit and tie. I really think it sets the tone of formality uh, and really reverence uh, to the importance of education. And uh, he's got a lot of absolutely exceptional photographs. Uh, we've got a few of them that we can kind of scroll through right now. But again, a very kind of creative and varied use of odd jackets. So it's not all formal, kind of dressing up, dressing down, but always wearing a tie and looking very smart in these photographs. So uh, thank you so much uh, for entering this contest. And thank you for keeping up the standards, especially in school. Next up, we head to California. This is a post from Rudy Riz that reads, these days I'm either wearing a uh, sweatsuit for online classes or an actual suit for work. Uh, there's no in between. Uh, it's great to see you still getting out uh, to work. It looks like you might be in the retail trade. Uh, you're looking very smart there in the suit. And I'd say the next time you're on front of the Zoom uh, for one of your online classes, why not throw everyone a little wrench, dress up in a suit and tie? Uh, you'll love the uh, reactions that you get. And I promise you, you'll probably make everyone feel a little bit nervous for revealing to them just how underdressed everyone is on their Zoom calls, which is actually part of the catalyst for this whole wear a tie uh, challenge in 2021, is that even if you're not going to work, if you're still working from home behind the computer on Zoom calls, uh, it's no excuse to dress in a t-shirt and to not do your hair in the morning. Uh, it's still work, it's still school, and it's still a great opportunity to show respect, uh, not just for others, but for yourself by dressing up properly in a proper suit and tie. So uh, great photograph here, uh, Rudy, and uh, best of luck to you in your studies. Up next, we have a gentleman. This is a future broker uh, from Markham, Ontario, Canada. And he says, even though it's Friday, just a quick reminder to hashtag wear a tie. So thank you so much for that. Uh, we'll end on that note uh, because you know what? Whether or not you're going to work or sitting behind a computer or going out to dinner, it's a great occasion and reason to dress up. Uh, we've all been locked inside for so long during 2020. I think that any opportunity to dress up in 2021 should really be seized, whether or not it's going to church, going to work, uh, or just still working from home behind your computer wear a tie, put on a jacket, or you know what, skip the jacket and just put on a nice sweater vest uh, like our friend Stefan, uh, and you're going to feel better and certainly you're going to look better. So thank you to everyone that's entered our contest. We're gonna continue running this contest uh, throughout the year. Uh, so you'll be able to re-enter simply by visiting kirbyallison.com uh, and clicking the banner on the bottom of the website uh, or just swiping up any of the reposts that we'll have on Instagram. 
If you don't follow me on Instagram, please do at Kirby Allison. It's the best way to kind of follow along what's going on kind of in this contest. Uh, but without further ado, I think it's time to select our winner. So give me uh, just one moment right here. Uh, and uh, let's see. So our winner is uh, Carlton from Medford, Massachusetts. And uh, let's see. He says, wearing a tie today from the man who taught me to shave and tie a tie, Richard Servino. So uh, thank you so much for this. We'll be reaching out via email and uh, sending you your gift certificate for use of one of our Kirby Allison Sovereign Grade neckties. So congratulations, Carlton. To everyone that participated in this contest and didn't win, we're gonna be sending you a coupon code for 10% off your next tie from us here uh, at the Kirby Allison. Thank you for entering. Thank you for wearing ties. And most of all, thank you to all of you uh, for watching us here on this YouTube channel. In the comments section below, let me know what your favorite looks were. Uh, in future contests, we're actually gonna allow voting on what you think your favorite uh, outfit is. But in the comments, I'd love to know what you think of these great outfits. I'm Kirby Allison, and I love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes while exploring the world of quality craftsmanship and tradition.